Hello, my name is Fox, and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. In December 2022, we had 41 tournaments with a total of 628 players and 2,141 games played. The balanced data slate was released on the 23rd of December 2022, and seeing as only two tournaments were played between the 23rd and the 31st, we won't really see how the change will affect the stats until January. This month, the Intercession Squad topped the charts with an impressive 7 wins and 24 top 3 placings. The Imperial Navy Breachers come next with 5 wins, followed by the Legionaries and Void Dancer Troop with 4. The five factions in green all got at least two wins. The Rimblade, Pathfinders, and the Veteran Guard all get three wins, with the Corsairs and Jellopox Infected getting two wins and the same number of top threes. The eight teams in yellow all got one tournament win. Hunter Clay topped the yellow group on five top threes, with the Phobos team getting four and the next three teams all getting three. The Space Marines get two top threes, which just puts them ahead of the Death Guard and Ecclesiarchy, with one top three each. The teams in red all missed out on a win, but all managed to get at least one top three placing. The Towns of the Emperor topped this group with three top threes, followed by Chaos Demons, High Fleet and Warp Coven who all got two. Four teams ran out the red group, all managing one top three placing. Here we have a heat map of the 33 teams who managed the top 10 placing. The Intercession Squad get the most top 10 placings with an impressive 52. The Legionaries come next with 34 placings. We will see later on in the video why these two factions in particular have done very well. There are 14 teams who are in double digits for top 10 placings, with 16 teams on more than one but less than 10 placings. We have three teams at the bottom with a single top 10 place. A shout out to Ecclesiarchy who managed to get one top 10, but it was a first place. Here we have a pie chart showing the popularity of each team. The Intercession Squad are way out in front with 13.69% of all players in December taking their team. This is followed by Legionaries who had a 9.39% of all players. These two teams, having a very high popularity, explains their success in achieving top 10 placings, as there are so many players taking them to tournaments, giving them far more opportunities to get in the top 10. When we add these two teams to the Phobos Strike Team, Space Marines, and Death Watch for the Loyalists, and the Death Guard, and Warp coming for the Traitors, 33.43% of all players were taking some form of Space Marine, be they Traitor or Loyalist. This is a massive 1 in 3 of all teams taken in December. All 36 factions are displayed on the chart. We'd love to know which teams you play and why. Let us know in the comments down below. We move on to all tournament win rates, which range from 100 to 0%. We've grew win rates by colour, so you can easily see how well each faction is doing. One faction was in the blue group with a win rate of 60% or above. The eight factions in the green are close behind in the 50% range. The 17 yellow factions are all in the 40%, with 10 red factions at the bottom, which have a win rate below 40%. It's time to give a special thanks to our resident stat guru and ultra fanboy, Fearless Fox, for collecting all the data. Here we have part one of the full army stats for a total of 36 declared teams. The Chaos Team has top win rates with an impressive 100% win rate. It is important to know that there are only two Chaos Team of players and six games played. The Void Dancer Troop top green on 56%, perhaps our winners with far more games played than Chaos Demons. Green Saints come next with 55.6%, followed by Legionaries on 54%. Fear and Blade get a 53.5%, with the Gellopox Infected getting a 52.5% win rate. Green Group is rounded out by three factions who all got a 50% win rate. There are 17 factions in yellow, with the Imperial Navy Breaches topping the group with a 49.2% win rate. The Intercession Squad is close behind on 49%, with Death Guard on 47.4%, and the Pathfinders on 47.2% win rate. Traitor Guard on 46.4%, just beating out Veteran Guard and Tomb Worlds, who both got a 45.2% win rate. Hunter Clay got 44.9%, followed by High Feet on 44.4%. The Corsairs get a win rate of 44.3%, with the Talons of the Emperor just behind on 44.1%. Both Warp Coven and Drukari get a 42.9% win rate, with Kali King getting 41.5%. All Commanders have a win rate of 40.7%, with the yellow group being rounded out by Novitius and Great Knights, both on 40%. 10 faction in red getting a win rate below 40%. The Imperial Guard get 37.5%, with Phobos on 36.6%, and Space Marines on a 35.3% win rate. The Fast Talker Kinblade get a 34.8% win rate, with Brood Coven winning a third of their games. The Ecclesiarchy get a win rate of 30.8%, followed by the Hyrotech Circle on 25.6%. Tower Empower on 10%, and the Death Watch are at the bottom, with a 0% win rate, but with only 6 games played. If you enjoyed our content, please like, comment and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. For other ways to support us, please check out the links in the description. Remember, in the grim dark of the 41st millennium, there is only war, so we'll be back next time with more stats. Thank you for watching.